Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the former field marshal Mudoni Wakarima visited Mamangena Kenyatta at her residence in Mudaiga. And uh, we, we saw the photos were shared, of course, there was exchange of gifts, and uh, also Mamangena Kenyatta, together with the Mudoni Wakirima, decided to address the media. And uh, in Mamangena's address, she was very clear that Mudoni Wakarima was among the freedom fighters who fought for independence of this country and having a government of African people. She was very clear that as of now, tumekuwa na wajuaji wengi. Wenye sasa wanajita ni maumau. So that was clear that we have maumau fake and we have the really maumau fighters. Some individuals in the Maori can up to now wanajita, watoto wa maumau. Some are calling themselves maumau people. But they have never been in the forest, in the trenches, fighting for the freedom or even their parents never participated in the fight for the freedom of this country. So when Mamangena Kenyatta was talking about Sikuizi kuna wajuaji wengi, she was talking about people like Rigatha Gashagwa, who has always referred to himself as a Mau Mau and a son of a Mau Mau. That message was going direct to people like Dindi Nyoro and Kimani Shungwa. But largely, it was a message on a doorstep of Rigathi Gashagwa. So after that, Dennis Tumbi, Gashagwa side, was not happy. Because seemingly they were exposed to some extent. I'm saying this because I have been following the politics in Mount Kenya region. Right now, people in Mount Kenya region are made to believe that Gashagwa is not one of their own. He is an outsider who was born in Mount Kenya region. But then he is misleading the people of Mount Kenya region, pretending to be one of their own. Now they are disowning Gashagwa. They are saying he is an outsider and seemingly... Everyone is po pointing their finger to Rift Valley. I don't know why, but that's what the new perception is in Mount Kenya as of now. So, Dennis Tumbi decided to react on behalf of Gashagwa by trying to create fake perception that Mamangena Kenyatta is not a freedom fighter. And again, she's trying to bring in the issue of the land, the grabbing, and the uh, the mistreatment of the Kikuyus in the hand of Kenyatta family. Just to, to start diverting attention from the discussion that people have had about the real Maumau fighters and uh, the issue around the Kenyatta family to do with uh, the order that was given by this government under the leadership of Rigatha Gashagwa to invade the Kenyatta Northland farm. What has surprised me is the response from Kenyans. You will be surprised. Those people who are so much angry with the Dennis Tumbi are people from Mount Kenya region. You read the names, you will agree with me that the mountain is not happy with the Dennis Tumbi. Kama wange kuwa na nafasi, wange piga Dennis Tumbi, wange mfukuza, kama mburukenge. That is the truth of the matter. So I want us to check on what Dennis Tumbi posted. Then from there, I will take you to the respond from angry Kenyans from Mount Kenya region in Dennis Tumbi's post. This is what he's saying. The Hustler National Intelligence Bureau, NHIB, has a special update on how the Kenyatta, Kenyatta's led by Mamangena and Christina Pratt. Number one, stolen are 7,741 acres land from government of Kenya. Number two, how she remained with only 1,496 acres. Number three, how Mamangina, the new self-proclaimed fighter, was a conned, was conned 2,200 acres by Mau Mau elders. Number four, details of her fight back using the Mau Mau elders because they left her with the 1,296 acres, which is today known as Northland. That's how I think I'm going Northland. Number five, how the Mau Mau, how the Mau Mau elders who wrestled the 200 acres from the Kenyatas have all died expect, except one. So when he talk about except one, 
is he pointing at who is it mzoni wa karima okay the story continue a story of grand theft greedy and outright twist of the system to favor an individual the special nhi nhib has full approval of the nhib patron kaba methu the senator nyandarwa and nhib director sam terry it shall be so declassified that was then situmbi so you can see it is just an attack on kenyatta family just to try and twist issues to do with the the lady who had visited mamangena kenyatta because mamangena kenyatta actually was requested by this this lady to go and shave her dreadlocks that had stayed there since independent more than 50 years in protest so the only person she saw as the right person to go and shave her was one mamangena kenyatta a lady who was also in trenches fighting for freedom of this country you talk about mau mau mamangena kenyatta name will come there she suffered because her husband was arrested besides that it is clear that she was also in trenches so mamangena went there she settled a 4.6 million bank loan she bought her a house three bedroom house so she came back to just say thank you and uh, it was time also to remind kenyans on the history of this country as she had offered her dreadlocks to be kept in the kenyan museum for historical uh, purpose in terms of learning now there is a reason why kenyans are so much angry with denis tumbi number one, when you talk about denis tumbi as of now denis tumbi is cas for ict he is assistant minister to cs eludo walo who is the minister for ict so we are talking about a minister bringing propaganda through social media that's why they are so much angry so let us go into the comment section to see the response from angry kenyans to denis tumbi david maina ndungu wewe uko opposition ama government your clueless is shocking considering kama uko na evidence you should be at dci karura recording a statement accompanied by gacheda your role model his propaganda the facebook gwk steve waiganjo kwenda uko we don't care macharia wa muhaki ndugu david ndugu dennis itumbi is months since election your friends are now on the sixth salary with zero post on the on this street have a good weekend brother another one here you are complaining and you are in the government or you are still com- campaigning for your seat that's a question kimani very stupid and shallow propaganda for tugeges and eh? kalemongos <laughs> Another one Fred Nyabuto this won't change the fact that Gachagua isn't the son of Mau Mau Roba Abdullah an grateful person with short sight power is temporarily my friend youth president Kenya it shall be declassified Mukeria you are in government but you haven't arrested anyone You keep on complaining like opposition cause your master is part of it. Another one Dubis how is it helping now? Try another thing that can help the country for once. Kimemia you are in government call for their arrest. Kanguma have them arrested zingine ni kelele. You can see the comments. Humphries where was your father when others were fighting for this independence blame him mike jones mo tell us also about the langata primary school playground and kaa land where western hotel 
stands. You should have also reported to us the Ngunjiri's issue misuse of power. This comment is so much important and I applaud Mike for this because we are all aware about the primary school ground where children were tear gassed by police officers because they were protesting against grabbing of their property. We are talking about Western Hotel sitting on the KAA land. The other day we saw Gunjiri Wambugu taking a pistol and shooting at someone and the fight was all about land. He went to till a land not belonging to him, his neighbor's land. So that means he was using power to grab the land. But then the resident also reacted. It became a drama. Remember Gunjiri Wambugu is CAS for land. We are talking about assistant minister for land. So Dennis Tubi was so much angry and you can see the response to this. And I can tell you he has responded to many of this comment and his response is so much with anger. This is what he said. Go ahead and tell us that on your timeline. Tag us. We will then decide if it is worth our time and respond. Look at it. Vincent Odiambo. How will that lower the cost of living? Dennis Tumbi also responded here angrily. It will not. Your comment, however, Will Abdile, is this part of the manifesto of the Kenya Kwanda regime in profiling some former families? Sali Gadogo, do we still have idiots believing in the craps you post? We need prayer as a country, but probably not those ones by the scammers pretending to be bishops. Barasa Amos Itumbi Sasa Sio Bottom Up Ni Kenyatta Land Sio Hasla Ni Mama Mungina Good one Dugu Thank you for the information It has lowered the cost of unga And the cost of living Sarcastic Charles Kamau Irungu Will you return the land We have learned To survive without so called land Okay Kimunge Karyuki. Looking at how smart and intelligence Uhuru's appointment were, one wonders not why you couldn't last. Hakuka uko and footwalkers. Forgive Stephen, uh, Steve, Stephen. So how is this helpful that Umi will finally be in our village? Umi ni ile unga inya wametoa. So you can see comments are clearly telling these are Kenyans who are angry with Dennis Itumbi. It tells you that no one want to associate with anyone in this government as far as they want to bring propaganda to Kenyans. Kenyans are brave, they are smart, they can flush out the lies from the truth. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section for continuation of this conversation. Thank you and see you in our next video.